The Department of Social Development in the Eastern Cape has opened the bidding process for NGOs to take over the provision of services to frail care patients in Port Elizabeth. This comes despite intervention by the Premier to ensure that the more than 200 frail care patients in the care of Life City Many remain there until alternative measures are put in place. The department is due to outline its plans before court next week. Families of the patients are demanding that Life City Many services are retained. And of course that follows the tragic deaths of about 100 patients in Gauteng. Bonisile Nono was crippled on his left-hand side during a stroke. He spent months bedridden. A rehabilitation process at a private frail care centre aided his recovery. The thought of changing frail care services terrifies his family. If they could take my brother away from care, that Agua frail care centre, I'd be mad. I would, I would be mad because where are they going to place my brother? Because they don't tell us where are they going to place my brother. They just say, oh, we're going to remove them. To remove where? The family of Nozik Elonyal, who suffers from epilepsy, is dreading the department's move. I feel bad about it. It would have a, a very negative impact on the patients there. Because there is a reason why they were sent there. Uh, for instance, I couldn't take good care of my sister. I don't have the expertise. The Algoa and Lorraine Frail Care Centres are home to more than 200 patients. Their treatment is state funded for as much as 18,000 per month for some. The high price is at the centre of the planned move, as the subsidy for public frail care centres is only 1,700 rand each month. Private centres say their charges are justified. The Department of Social Development insists that the frail care patients will still receive quality services. The department is very clear about needy people in terms of the protection and care. There is no way that we'll be able to take those people to the street. There is no way that we'll be able to take those people to NPOs that are not credible, that are not registered within the NPO Act, which is a social development act. There is a growing concern that NGOs do not have the capacity to deal with the increased patient numbers. At this frail care home, there is one nurse for eight patients. The bath and shower are also out of order. If uh, we were to get more funding to cover those uh, areas of service that we aren't able to cover, you know, like I'm hearing of, we've been hearing that uh, Lorraine and uh, Algoa have been getting you know, more funding, probably 10 times what we're getting uh, in terms of their, their, their funding. Um, such is the under understanding, therefore, that uh, they are then providing high quality service, comparatively speaking. That is not without explanation, precisely because they are getting money. Naturally, they have a competitive edge if you were to compare them with us. Social development plans to assess each centre in person to establish its competency. Lerato Tipa, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.